What's up guys? Today is Friday the 13th and I just came back from the hair salon. I got my hair um, straightened. I don't have a relaxer. I just got it uh, blown out and flat ironed and I'm starving. Guess where I am? Popeye's chicken. I think I need to start calling these um, mukbangs Popeye's chicken Friday. <laughs> But I've been trying to get um, the chicken sandwich, but you can't find it anywhere. Well, anyway, how are you guys doing? Um, I had to find a place to sit, you guys. So, what do you guys think? I'm going to talk about something serious today. Mainly because... We're seeing more and more of this every day. And today I want to talk about suicide. It seems like everybody's affected by it in some way. Maybe a cousin or friend or, you know, somebody committed suicide that you knew. But I want to talk about people who are believers, who believe in God. And then they commit suicide. You know, I personally, I know that um, this is kind of controversial because of the pastor that killed himself and people have been talking about it on YouTube. Um, some people, even pastors, have said that there's no way he could have gone to heaven. I don't want to condemn anybody to hell. I feel like if you kill yourself, you're not in your right mind. And I don't think that God will uh, condemn somebody to hell who's not in their right mind. We don't know what that man was going through or why he thought that the only way anything could be fixed or solved is that he ended his life. Nobody knows. And, you know, we serve a loving God who loves us and his grace abounds. So, I don't know. I mean, he left his family and everything. I would have to think that something happened to where, um, you know, he kind of lost his mind and then killed himself. Now, I refuse to believe whether I'm right or wrong. You know, it doesn't say it. You know, a clear statement in the Bible that if you kill yourself, you you go to hell. It doesn't say that. So I, I don't know. Okay, so I'm back. It seems like every time I try to do one of these mukbangs, I never finish <clears throat> my meal with you guys because <clears throat> I'm still I get distracted, or it seems like I I eat too fast whenever I'm doing these, and then I lose my train of thought. <clears throat> but anyway i did want to finish talking about what i was talking to you guys about about the um <clears throat> look at my hair it just kind of the curls blew out whatever about the suicide thing <clears throat> so many people are so quick to judge about people that may have committed suicide they're quick to say like i'm talking about this pastor that just killed himself there's a lot of people that and if you don't know what I'm talking about, just Google, I mean, not Google it, but put it in the search engine, pastor that committed suicide, and you'll have all kinds of stories, good and bad. But <clears throat> people don't think about the fact that this man felt so bad and so low that he went through with something that most of us have contemplated at one point in our lives. I know I did. I have. 
<clears throat> so um, I just didn't do it. I just didn't act on it. But this man did. He actually went through with the whole, you know, committing suicide. It just It really does break my heart because <clears throat> what was he thinking? What was his frame of mind? Why would you do something like that? Were you ashamed of something that was about to come out that you didn't want to come out? What happened? What broke down in your mind to make you think that the only way out was to kill yourself? And if you're a pastor, you know that there's a hereafter. I would be worried about that. Like, <clears throat> although personally, I feel like if you are um, mentally ill or there's something wrong, I don't think that God would cast you into hell. I just don't believe that. Um, if I'm wrong, somebody correct me. Show me where it says in the scripture that that's what happened. That the uh, word talks about having faith and standing strong in that. But where was this man at mentally? Why, why did he do that? What do you guys think about that? I would really like to know. What are your thoughts? Um, you know, my first thing was, I thought about was, well, let me pray for this man's wife and his family because they have to be going through utter hell right now. I heard he had a big church. I haven't really looked into this pastor, but I heard he had a big church. <clears throat> so now his wife has to get up before the congregation and say, you know, my husband committed suicide and all this stuff that he's been preaching to you guys. I guess he didn't believe it himself because it's, he took his own life. And I would be so mad if Brian did something like that <clears throat> and, you know, just kind of left me holding the bag. I, I would be so mad. So, I don't know, y'all. I mean, I, I really do feel bad for for the man who did it, but his life is over. The story of his life is over. The end. That's it. Like, you can't add to that story. You can't do nothing. He ended his story. So, you know, now his wife has to pick up the pieces and try to go on. We all have bouts in our life where we I, I, all my life since I can remember I've always had like bouts of depression but I know how to fight through it and I know how to pray in the spirit I know how to just um, just get consumed into worshiping God and just thanking him for what I have and what he's done for me I know how to do that but everybody everybody doesn't know how to do it but as for this pastor, you would think that he would have known how to do it because he was a pastor, but apparently he didn't. So I personally don't believe that, you know, all right, you killed yourself. Let me just throw you in hell. I'm going to, you know, that I don't think God would do that. <clears throat> um, I feel like people that go through with that, they have a mental problem. There's something mentally wrong with them for them to go through with something like that so anyway i'm gonna go ahead and end this i have to get in here to work and i'm tired i wish i can go home and go to bed that's just it i ate i broke my fast at one o'clock actually it was 120 i'm doing intermittent fasting along with weight watchers kind of weight watchers but i do go off my point sometimes but I try to stay within the 1300 calorie range. Last week I lost a pound, so I'm losing about a pound a week. But um, I'm just getting back on the losing side because I had gained a lot of weight because, well, I didn't gain a lot. I gained about three pounds because I was just eating as if, you know, like, like I had a great metabolism and everything would burn. I don't know what I was thinking. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. And it was good chatting with you guys. You know, one other thing. This guy had to have been out of his mind because he, he was a pastor. He knows that uh, there's a heaven and that there's a hell. And wherever you end up, that's where you will be for eternity. Do y'all know how long eternity is? There is no ending. So why would anybody choose to depart from God for for an eternity. I mean, 
I get upset sometimes when I say a prayer and I don't get an answer from God for a while. I feel like he, you know, I get upset. So can you imagine being apart from God for the rest of all of eternity? There is no end. So, oh, y'all, I don't know. 